In this video, we're going to review ocular lens adjustment, zeroing the scope, calibrating the scope to the crossbow speed, the illuminated reticle, and maintenance of the scope. Carefully read the entire manual and its warnings before attempting to adjust your scope. Your Raven scope should already be mounted. Always point the crossbow in a safe direction. Know what's in front and beyond your target. Select a proper target and backstop. Never look at the sun with a scope. It may permanently damage your eyes. First off, the ocular lens adjustment. You need to adjust the ocular lens and the scope to match your eye characteristics. Hold the scope about two or three inches from your eye and look through the eyepiece at an object a normal shooting distance away, perhaps 30 yards. If the reticle and the object are not sharply defined instantly, look through the scope and turn the eyepiece at the rear of the scope either direction. If the focus becomes worse, turn it in the opposite direction. If the focus has improved, but still not perfect, continue adjusting the lens until the reticle is clear and sharp. Now we're out at the range to zero in our Raven crossbow. We were in earlier, mounted the scope, checked our ocular lens to make sure the reticle was clear. So now what we're going to do for the zero is we're going to shoot at 10 yards, we're going to shoot it at 20, and we'll shoot it again at 50. 50 is where we're going to verify that. Now, we go in at 10 yards because we're not really sure exactly where the scope is, is uh, hitting, so we need to do that first. So we'll just uh, grab the crossbow and head out. We've moved up to 10 yards. We're getting ready to take our shot. Just as a reminder, make sure you know what's in front of your target, what's beyond, and always point your Raven crossbow in a safe direction. So what I'm going to do is uh, pull it up and take my first shot just to make sure we're close. As you can see, it's quite a ways out. I just finished making a quick adjustment to the scope. Now what we're trying to do here is just remember is just get it close. As you can see, I was quite a bit high and right. So I made the adjustments so we can get in there, get a little closer, because our goal is to zero at 50. So I'm going to take another shot and see if we got her in a little better. That's our goal. So now we're going to move back to 20. We just finished our 10 yard check. Now we're going to come back to 20. We're going to make sure that we're still close so we can do our zero at 50 yards. Well, we achieved our goal. Now it's time to go back and uh, go for our 50 yard zero. Now we're back at 50 yards. We've done our initial shots at 10 and 20 yards. As you can see here, we are set up with a bench to help hold the crossbow steady because it's very important we get our point of aim to match our point of impact. We were offhand down range at 10 and 20 yards just to get it close. It's very important that we get the zero to be exact and to match your point of aim and point of impact. We just zeroed our crossbow at 50 yards. Now it's time to move up to 20 to calibrate this scope to the speed of this model of Raven crossbow. We've moved our target back to 20 yards so we can continue to use our stable shooting platform. Next thing you're going to want to do is move your speed selector dial to the advertised speed of your Raven crossbow. Once you do that, you can take your first shot. Our first shot hit right where we aimed, so we've got our selector dial in the right position. Illuminated reticle. Your Raven scope is equipped with a selectable red or green illuminated reticle. The illumination rheostat is located on the left side of the scope. High brightness settings are recommended for daytime use when ambient light is bright. At times of low light, such as dawn or dusk, a lower brightness setting is recommended. The lower settings may not be visible during bright daylight. Reticles are black in the R or G position or if the battery is defective. Raven illuminated scope models use a CR2032 coin style lithium battery. 
To insert a battery, unscrew the battery compartment cap on the top of the rheostat adjustment turret and insert a new battery positive side up. Warning, always hold onto the lower half of the rheostat when loosening or tightening the battery compartment cap to ensure no damage is done. Care and maintenance of your scope. Your Raven scope is a precision instrument that deserves a high level of care. Do not attempt to disassemble or clean the scope internally. Store the scope in a dry environment. Never store the scope in places such as passenger compartments of vehicles on hot days. The high temperatures could adversely affect the lubricants and sealants. Keep the protective lens covers in place when the scope is not in use. The external lens coatings should occasionally be wiped clean with a lens cloth provided or an optical quality lens paper. Remove any external dirt with a soft brush to avoid scratching the lens. To clean the external surface of the scope, it's recommended that a cleaning cloth is used to protect the scope against corrosion. Raven Crossbows.